Hey guys, and welcome to the review on Vengeance on Virus Special Edition. Now this is requested by Daniel Thompson, so thank you very much for the request and the wait. So, firstly, let's get into the front cover with BBC DVD, Doctor Who, Vengeance on Virus Special Edition. We have Colin Baker as the Sixth Doctor, we have Perry, we have the character Sill, which is a reptilian creature right here. We have the Virus logo, and we have the tunnel as well in the dome. Very atmospheric story. And it is the third story in the Colin Baker era. It's a two disc set PG DVD video in the Colin Baker years 1984 to 1986. So then we have the side. People do complain that special editions there and they're on both sides, but I don't really mind it. So we have the back, the pictures are right at the top. Stan Colin Baker, and it's by Philip Martin. I'll just read the blurb. Um, the TARDIS is adrift, deprived of a vital power source. The Doctor and Perry have one last hope. The planet Varus. The Varus is a dangerous place, trapped in the dreaded Punishment Dome. The Doctor and Perry must fight for their lives, and save the starving population from the villainous reptilian Sill, which is him. So... We have a lot of special features here, actually, but we have the commentary with um, Colin Baker as the Doctor, um, Perry and the character Sill, also that reptilian um, villain. We have nice on oh, 5.1 sound mix, brand new optional sound mix, nice on that. The cast includes Gus the making of Vengeance and Virus, which is my favourite special feature out of all the ones on this list. The Earliest Lantern, a look on how Doctor Who has incorporated the medium of television with its narrative. Tomorrow's Times, The Sixth Doctor, the deleted extended scenes over 15 minutes of, of the material, including previously unreleased footage exclusive to this special edition. Behind the scenes, outtakes, alternative music clip, BBC News, Breakfast Time, Saturday Superstore, Trailer and Continuities, Radio Times Listening and BBC Sales Sheet, Sales Sheet, Photo Gallery Coming Soon trailer, which I forgot what it is. Isolated music score, original studio production audio, production information, subtitles, and digitally remastered picture and sound quality. It does have a lot of special features on this. So, and the special features are pretty good and, uh, and especially nice on Nasty. This story was originally broadcast on BBC One between 19th to the 26th of January 1985, produced by John Nathan Turner, directed by Ron Jones, and the music was by Jonathan Gibbs, and also the cover was by Lee Bidden. Um, the Vengeance on Virus is 90 minutes long, and it contains mild violence. So we'll just take a look at the booklet right here, because I have it right here, with, um, again, Perry with the virus logo, and more about story and the <coughs> and um you know the special features and that which I've already go through. Again um Nice or Nasty is my favourite and it is a two parter but each part is forty five minutes long so it adds up to a four parter. It's just extended. So we'll just take a look inside. Let's put this back in. We have disc one with um a story with um Six Doctor and the Virus logo again, the tunnels, and we have Parry in the mutation form with the Virus logo again and the tunnels again. Oops. So, my overall opinions on Vengeance on Virus. <laughs> really surprised story about this. This is um took me by surprise. This did because Colin Baker has definitely got talent, or well, in my eyes anyway, because he is a very underrated Doctor. Actually, the the most underrated Doctor, I will say, actually, because he, he does get the most hate out of all the Doctors. I think even more than yeah, even more than Sylvester McCoy, even though he's a brilliant Doctor. But Colin Baker does have talent. He does, and it's quite funny how people um mock him all the time and just say he's terrible and just say all his stories are just crap. Never, just never watch him. But right now, I I I do have only two Doctors. Two Colin Baker stories, and I do have the two Doctors right by there, as well. Vengeance on Virus, and I enjoy both these stories. I, well, you can hate me if you want to, but I actually enjoy Colin Baker. I do quite a bit, and he is starting to improve on me a bit more. He is as well. I also have the Twin Dilemma on VHS, which I don't mind watching. Actually, I don't really mind it. It's a bit of a 
bit of entertainment, I call it, but I, I, I get into the story, it's a really atmospheric, I would call it a creepy story, a, atmospheric, creepy, violent, dark story. Um, I would say atmospheric because it's mostly into tunnels, it's all in a cramped, claustrophobic area, and yeah, that I that's a really good that is in my opinion i do like atmospheric creepy stories as well it is a bit violent and mm, i don't really call it a pg in my eyes i would call this a 12 i would it is quite it is taking the violence a bit too far in this story it's probably the most violent doctor who i've seen so far i do find it even more violent than um resurrection of the daleks which there was a lot of killing in that story but it's just the way how people got tortured it's just not really the best thing to show to the kids really no i wouldn't really call this a kids doctor who one but overall this is a a surprising story and i do like this one quite a bit and i really did enjoy watching this one with my friend as well it was really good it's his third favorite story of all time which i yeah, I can probably see it's a really, really good story. Not sure if it would be a favourite of mine. I don't think I would call it that, but it's still a really good story. Really dark, really creepy, really atmospheric, claustrophobic. So, if, you do, if you're a Colin Baker fan, then I will say that I will recommend this story to you. And comparing to the original edition, which I have seen before... Well, not seen. I have compared it. I just borrowed my, because he, my one of my friends has the original edition. I, I just compared them. I don't have it with me anymore. But the voice in, you, it's much more clear on it as well. Definitely an improvement. So I would go and get the special edition rather than the original edition because it's so much better. So that was my review on Vengeance on Varus special edition. I rate it. I would rate it 9 out of 10. Great Colin Baker story. And I would like to get more of Colin Baker, actually. More Colin Baker stories. Maybe I might go with um, maybe Attack of the Cyberman, Revelation of the Daleks, Trial of the Time Lord, or Mark of the Rani. I don't, I don't know. I'm just um, not sure at the moment which one I would get next. But I'll probably I'll decide. So... Thank you very much for watching the review on Vengeance on Varus. My next video, which I'll be recording right after this, will be Ellie Discussions Episode 2, which was, is going to be The Crusade, which is a lost, another lost episode. So I'll see you in that video, and have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you in my next video.